And you are listening to the Motherhood Unstressed Podcast, and I'm your host, Liz Carlisle. Welcome back to another short solo episode. I love doing these, and when I can find the time in my busy week, I absolutely will jump on them because I feel like they are so valuable to you, the listener, and it gives you short, bite-sized little takeaways that you can just take into your week, take into your weekend, and then start living your best life, which is the whole point of the show. Um, And today I wanted to talk about um, self-care, not surprising, right? Um, But I was just interviewed uh, by uh, IIN, which is the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. I was on one of their alumni calls literally half an hour ago, and I was so inspired by the discussion, the conversation. And one of the questions that they asked me was, you know, what is your biggest piece of advice for mothers out there um, who want to start taking better care of themselves and want to, you know, establish that non-negotiable self-care that I'm always talking about. And I feel like, you know, for someone like me who's been doing the work for a long time, it's kind of like, well, what do you mean? Like, this is just part of your day. But for so many women out there, it's not. Um, So I just wanted to jump in really quickly and give you some key things you can do starting today, starting first thing in the morning um, to really set you on the path um, for just creating that space for yourself, you know, to connect with who you really are, to connect with that person that's been there from your first breath and will be there at your last breath to connect back to her. And if you're a guy listening to this, that's okay too, because you absolutely need this too. You need this reminder. You need this practice in your life so that you can go out and be the best dad or be the best, you know, man in in your life as well. Um, and I think it's, it's really a fallacy to think that women are the only ones that really need this. Um, that said, I think women are the ones who put it off the longest. You know, I think a guy will, uh, jump in and, and do what he needs to do, either take a nap or go hang out with his friends, uh, earlier than a woman would. So at any rate, whoever you are listening to this right now, um, this is for you to kind of just create that space that we all need to be our best selves. So my number one tip for anyone listening to this right now is to get up 20 minutes earlier than you normally do. And I know that sounds really easy and what's the point, but that time in the morning uh, where you could be sleeping in or hitting snooze is magic. It, that is essential time in your morning where you can drink a glass of lemon water, um, do some stretches, do some gentle yoga stretches that you can find easily on YouTube. I often go to a 10 minute YouTube video put it on, do the 10 minutes, and then I sit down in meditation. And I I don't even put on a meditation necessarily unless I'm feeling really scatterbrained. And I just sit there and I breathe and I focus on my breathing. And sometimes I'm half awake and that's okay too, because in those moments, your self-conscious, your subconscious rather, is, is so close to the surface. You can really tap into that, that other side of you that you've become distanced from. And there's there's so much intelligence in that space. There's so much insight in that space um, that you can really gain access to in those early, early morning hours. And studies that I've read show that um, you know meditators and things that find the most benefit in those early morning hours, I think because you've been asleep and you have access to that subconscious. And so when you get quiet and you settle yourself, you really set up your day to be super effective and super productive. And I find that when I meditate in the morning, which I normally now do, I don't even question it. I get so much more done and I don't feel like I'm running around or like I'm stressed. And of course, you know, days can always be really busy. Things can happen, but there's something about sitting down, getting quiet. Um, in a way, I think it just prioritizes what's really important in life. So you're not doing things that really don't matter, that you think you just need to check off your to-do list. So that's my number one tip is get up 20 minutes early. That's nothing. That is literally hitting the snooze. Um, (laughs) Get up 20 minutes early, drink your water, do your stretching, and sit in meditation for a minimum of five minutes. And I've got a ton of, you know, five-minute meditations, 10-minute meditations on the podcast, but you don't necessarily need to listen to that. Just listen to your breath, listen to your breathing, and connect with who you really are. So that's my number one tip. My number two tip, if you absolutely cannot get up early, I get it, I understand, um, (laughs) would be to find some time in your day to where you can escape and connect back to your breath. And I know that sounds like, well, that's just like what you said for number one, but really it's it's about touching base and touching and getting back to yourself. 
because so often, you know, you think you're one and done and that's not necessarily the case because our brains, as we know, are always going. And so to find these little moments in your day where you can stop and breathe and connect back with yourself, your inner child, uh, can be incredibly healing. And then all of a sudden you're not tired at 3 PM. You're not going for that cup of coffee. You are back to full energy, full power. Again, as my little boys say, I'm full power. Um, and that's really, really helpful. So those are my two major things that you can do during the day. Um, as far as, you know, getting settled for the night, I know so many of you have trouble sleeping. Um, it's like your brain's going to overdrive when you finally hit the pillow. And for that, again, I would do just a simple breathing technique. Um, take a deep breath in for four, hold for two, and then release for six and do that four times at minimum. And you will be amazed at how rested um, and calm that you feel because really you're activating your parasympathetic nervous system. So doing that right before bed, that's something that I do too. I love to read before bed, but then sometimes when I'm reading my brain, like I get, you know, all these questions and I'm thinking about this and I want to grab my phone and look up this. Um, So to do that breath technique is, is super, super helpful in in settling me back down and getting me into that calm uh, space before bed. So that's it. That's my quick little tip for you moms out there and dads and non-parents. Um, I would love it if you would share this with a friend who desperately needs a little reminder, a little self-care in their life and uh, uh, tag us on Instagram and of course rate and review and subscribe so you can get all these goodies every single week. Love you guys. This episode is sponsored by Motherhood Unstressed CBD. You can purchase our third-party tested organic USA-grown hemp in stores across the country or at motherhoodunstressed.com.